Hello, my name is Sarah Duong. I am a project manager and consultant at Concentris. Today, I wanna to show you two types of allocation. I'm gonna show you a fixed allocation and then a dynamic allocation for your expenses. So I wanna first show a bill. You'll see that the Apple store is the vendor and this is the GL impact. So it's going to accounts payable and it's debiting this uh, GL account. Um, it happens to be furniture and fixtures here. What I wanna show you next is how we're going to allocate this bill on a fixed allocation basis and we're gonna allocate it by department. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna create an allocation schedule. How we got there was under transactions, go to financials, and then go to create allocation schedules. I've created one here already. I gave it a name, team building fixed, uh, the headquarters, frequency. So we're gonna be end of period and then the next date. So this is important. What this is saying is that any bills prior to this date, 431, 430, excuse me, will be allocated based on this schedule. Okay, so this one is a fixed allocation, as you can see here, and down below is saying that anything under this account that is, uh, has this vendor and has this department. So what it means is that when you go back to the bill, it has to have that vendor um, and it has to have that account and it also has to have that department in order for it to be eligible for this schedule. So it has to meet these requirements here. After it meets those requirements, the destination is how you're gonna tell it to allocate. So we're allocating by percentages when I click this checkbox. And I'm gonna allocate it by department based on the weights that I've given here. So when it's ready to do the allocation, you come back to the schedule and you click create journal entry. Once you do that, a journal entry is created and the actual allocation is done here. So you'll see that under 1420, $1,000 was allocated to by this vendor and it was under administration and it was under this location. But now I took it out of there and I'm allocating it to these departments. Okay. So that's how you do a fixed allocation. Next, I'm gonna show you how to do a dynamic allocation. So again, I have a bill here and you'll see down below, same account of furniture and fixture, the 1420. And the amount is for $1,000. What's different is I'm creating a a dynamic allocation here. Okay, so I've chosen the, dy the dynamic allocation mode right here. Under the source, same thing. I am choosing or I'm selecting what bills I'm going to allocate. So anything that's hitting this account, 1420, that's under this vendor. And it could be in any department, it could be the bill could be under any uh, location or any uh, class at this point. So if, it, if the bill hits these requirements, then I'm gonna go to destination and I'm gonna say, please allocate it to these departments based on this percentage, okay? So this is different from the fix. The fix I gave actual percentages, um, but here the percentages are based on the head counts that I assigned earlier on. Okay, so if the head counts change, you have to go back to your journal entry and make those changes there. So again, I do the same thing. When it's time, I click on create journal entry and it will create a journal here. You'll see the original bill down below here being allocated out. And then what's being allocated back into the departments based on the head count weights you'll see that here in this journal entry. Okay. That concludes the allocation for dynamic and fixed allocation. Thank you for watching.